हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बी एफ एक्सपर्ट सो गाइज दिस इज फिफ्थ क्लास ऑफ लाइव एक्सरेंस सी जी कम्पोस्टिंग सीरीज सो इन दिस टू डेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू रेंडर ए बीज और रेंडर पासेस फ्रॉम माया फॉर फाइनल कम्पोस्टिंग सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस पार्ट प्लीज वॉच माई ऑल पार्ट रिलेटेड टू दिस सीरीज लिंक आई गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो हियर दिज अबर शॉर्ट हियर एंड दिज अबर रेंडर प्रिव्यू हियर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस शॉर्ट इफ यू विल सी वी आर ऑल्सो एक्चुअली रेंडरिंग अबर दिस बैकग्राउंड प्लेट और इमेज प्लेयर हियर but we have to only render about this car aobh or car model here so what we have to do so just we have to select about this camera main camera then in about this image plane and just we have to select in display mode none only we will render about this 3d model or this car here okay so this is first step here before starting further work so now after this we have to open about this render layer settings here this one so this is our actually uh, render layer setup here so here what we have to do first we have to create some render layers which you want to render so suppose uh, now again press a so here if you will see this is our actually car and this is our shadow so what we have to do so just we have to create different different layer for different different object suppose first if you want to render only car then we have to create a layer for car only then for side we have to create another layer because we have to render this side separately okay so here we have to create a different different layer according to your requirements so first we will here create different layers then we will assign all these required aob here okay so now again press a here so now we are inside of this rgb view here or rgb mode here so now first just i am going to create a layer whichever car aob each layer okay so now here if you will see this is very simple setup here so this is our actually just creating a layer okay so just click here and just create a layer and just give a proper name so car aob each layer then inside this layer we have to create collections collections means so which is just participating inside this car aob each layer so that is our actually collections inside this layer means suppose if you want to render this car aob so here we have to select this car then we have to add light then all these things we have to add inside this layer so layer means just a uh, collections of objects which just we are going to render inside this car layer then here after this we have to create a collection then again right click on top of this layer and just click on this create collection and just give a name car layer then we have to select about this car or this uh, 3d model so simply just we can select and just add inside this collections here simply just we can add it here then next we have to create another collections for lights then again right click on this main layer remember this one while you are creating collections so just you have to right click on this main layer then click on create collection so light layer then all lights we have to add inside this collection so select so here just i have only two lights first this is sky dome light second this dark sun light so whatever light you have just simply you can add inside this layer then select this one and just simply add it here so now next just we have to create a collection for our this base plane here so simply again right click on this main layer create collections and just plain layer so here just i have created all these collections then after this we have to render only this layer because now if you will see here we have selected our this scene layer so this is just rendering all element which is inside this scene here but we have to only render about this layer so whatever layer you will create so just you have to render only that layer and just you have to check here so again just select this one because here i have not assign actually base plane inside this collection so simply just we can select and just we can add inside this uh, collections here now just we have to render this layer so simply we can check this one here so now if you will see here just we are rendering only this layer and we are getting this result still this is rendering here now again press a here so easily we can understand now press a so guys if you will see here so same thing we are getting here as uh, this main scene render layer but we want to only render car or this 3d model without this shadow so what we have to do so for this plane collection we have to use visibility overrides here so again just stop it here 
just we have to select about this plane then right side in our this uh, attribute editor we will get actually this option whichever this render states so this primary visibility just we have to use and just we have to create a visible primary visibility over right here so for this simple what we can do so just hold middle mouse button and just drag and drop this primary visibility parameter here so remember this what here i have selected this uh, plane collections here so simply hold the middle mouse button and then drag and drop here so now here just i have added about this primary visibility override then you can select and just untick this one or uncheck this one so now if we will render this layer again so just we are getting only this car layer without shadow now again press a here so just inside this layer only i am rendering this car because shadow we will render in different layers so easily we can compose in new or any composting software so this is actually first layer now second layer just for shadow only so again just create a layer and just give a name then after this again we have to create collection so again same thing just we have to do here then right click create collection then car then add our car we can select just add here then right click on layer collections light then select both light add then finally we have to add our plane which is actually casting our shadow this plane and just create collection add it here and just give it name so now we have to render this layer so again just uh, click here now again view so now again render now again press a here so again we are actually rendering our all things so what we have to do so inside this layer we have to render only shadow so just we have to use a primary visibility for our this 3d model or for this car model here so again just select this car collections here then select this uh, 3d model here then right side in this render states simple same option just we have to use this so this primary visibility so just select and you drag and drop here now select this now just select this primary visibility override then we can untake this one here so now again if we will render this one here so we are getting only this shadow inside this layer this one so this is actually shadow layer so now you can see here now after this suppose you want to create a layer for your embed occlusion for your car then again we can create another layer this one so car AO or ambient occlusion layer then for embed occlusion just we have to add only our actually a 3d model collections so again right click collections so car layer or object then we have to add our car so just we can select this and just we can add inside this collections then for embed occlusion there is no any need for light all these things here so what we can do so just on top of this collections we have to apply shader override here so because just i am going to uh, render ambient occlusion so just right click on this car layer collections so just we have to create a shader override here. then create shader override then we have to select this one then override shader just simply click here and search ai ambient occlusion so ai ambient occlusion you will get here this one simply just we can select now just render this layer this one here now again press a here so now just we are actually rendering over this ambient occlusion so you can see this are actually ao layers here now if i want to check all layers here so simply you if you will select this one so now press a so because we are getting actually shadow in alpha channel so this is our shadow then this is our actually this car layers only so here these are our actually main uh, three layers here now after this just i am going to assign all these aobs like diffuse specular code all these things for this car layer here because now actually if you will see here in this preview we are getting only beauty after defining all these layers just i am going to assign about all these aobs which is required for this 3d model or for this scene here so now for assigning about all these aobs just we have to open about this render layer settings here so now just minimize this one here all these things that we can simply minimize now just open our this render layer settings here so in this render layer setting we will assign our all these aobs here so first 
renderer using or not then aobs so all these actually aob just you have to assign according to your scene or whatever elements you have inside your scene light all these things so according to your scene just you have to assign all these aob but for uh, this car just i am going to assign some important aob here so first this rgb a then code direct indirect then diffuse direct indirect even indirect light maybe just uh, you can also select maybe scene specular direct indirect even if there is any transmission then you can also select even uh, this ss indirect so this is actually totally depends on your scene all these things here so now maybe this is just sufficient for this one now I'll just simply click here so these are were actually main aob which is related to this uh, scene here so now again if you will open this actually over this uh, render layer setup so now if you will see here inside this layer because i am rendering only this layer car aob layer so then we have to again we have to render so now still this is just rendering here so now if you will actually see here we are getting actually all these aobs inside this car aob layer so you can see here so all the aobs so this is actually code direct then code indirect diffuse even specular so here these are actually main aobs here even if you can just simply check maybe inside this aob where if you are not getting anything then simply you can also go to again inside this and just simply you can remove this one here so maybe suppose here i am not getting anything then you can select then you can just remove like this okay now again just we can maybe select indirect light so indirect we are getting here so even if you want you can also actually just uh, transmission we can also remove so simply just we can remove this one here uh, also now again just select this beauty so these are actually main aob for this car layer here so according to a requirement just simply you can assign aob here so first layer just save as our scene here so file save scene as and just give a name maybe two make it two So now here after this one more custom AOB just I am going to assign which is our actually mat ID pass for this car body here okay. So for this what we have to do so just we can minimize all these things so then we have to open our hyper set so windows then in animation render editor I just open this hyper set so because just we have to create a custom ID pass. So here for this actually car body just I am going to create a custom ID pass so this is our actually car paint. Uh, we just have applied on over this car body here then right click on this AI carpet then click on graph network so we will get this thing here then we have to take a AI right color node here so press tab and type AI right color so this node and just simply we can place it here so here what we have to do so just simply first we have to click here and just we have to pick this color and just we have to paste on top of this beauty here so how we can do simply just we can select then simply click here and just take this picker and just we can pick this color then select this one then simply click here in this beauty and just pick uh, this red color from here then here after this in name then we have to click on create new and just create a id pass then we have to click on this create so here just type created this one so like this as you can create maybe multiple id pass one for maybe wheel, wheel all these things here then after this we have to connect this ai right color with our this uh, ai carpet base color here so simply just we can select this out color and just connect it here then click on other and just select this base color so just we have to connect with this out color with our this base color here then after this we have to take a AI utility node so press tab so AI utility this one and just simply click here and just select and just delete this one here and just we can attach this AI utility node with our this input here so just this out curve just we have to connect with this input then we have to select this AI utility then here you will get actually color which color you want to assign for id01 here so maybe suppose 
here just I want to assign red color so simply just we can click and just we can assign red color this is our actually ID color remember this one here okay so maybe red green blue any color just you can assign then in this shade mode just we have to select this flat color so now guys if you will see here inside this render view we are getting this actually car mat id pass here this one so now you can see inside this red color because here you have selected this red color so now press a so in red channel we are getting this alpha channel so like this if you can assign multiple id pass here but this is just sufficient for this one here now just close all these things here now again just select this beauty pass here so after assigning this custom id pass just again we have to open up this render settings here so here if you will see so this is our actually custom mat aob here this one here so this one also just i am going to render then here assigning all these aobs just we have to click on this or not render then here if you want you can just a little bit uh, increase this all these values so this is totally depends on your system performance so maybe four then three not too much then we have to click on this common then first format we have to select exr then we have to click on this merge aob because just to render a multipass layer here then downside here in frame and animation just we have to select this name dot h dot exe then we can assign over this starting frame whichever this is zero according to our timelines here zero then last frame which is one one two then after this downside you will get this renderable camera so just camera one we have to select then frame size so here just according to my footage frame size which is 90 to 1080 full hd then finally so here just i am going to create a prefix so simply just we can select then right click and just select this insert layer name so this will just create a folder according to this layer name and this will place your all these element inside this folder okay so means suppose uh, what this will give so so if you will select this one so this will just create a different different folders here okay so now after all these settings just i am ready to render our final scene or entire sequence here so for this we have to click on this uh, drop down and just we have to select this rendering then in render we have to select this batch render here so now here downside if you will see rendering has started then after this you have to find all your render passes inside your define maya project folder or by default this will save in documents folder okay so guys till here simple i have completed over this class how to render aobs or render passes from maya so in next class we will continue on same project and we will see render passes composting inside nuke so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching